Good morning. This is your 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. Seeing mostly sunny conditions out there. Just a few low to mid-level clouds and a few high clouds out there. We'll see an increase in the high clouds as we go through the day today. And we do have a hot day ahead of us as well as a hot next couple of days before we see a return to more seasonable as well as some unsettled weather moving in for the end of the week. If we look at the current surface analysis, we see high pressure dominating the eastern part of the country. That's keeping things quiet as well as keeping things on the warm side uh, with some upper level ridging over the area. If we look at current conditions, we have those few clouds around 7,000 feet, a few clouds at 25,000 feet, some haze picking, picked up on the ob, uh, seeing winds out of the northwest at 7 knots, temperature at 78 degrees, and relative humidity is at 81 percent. If we look at the current visible satellite, we can see there's lower clouds hiding underneath the High clouds that are moving into the area again. We'll see those high clouds continue to move into the area associated with that uh, upper level low off to the northeast. But again, not expecting any precip today, just some warm and humid conditions. If we look at the European model here, see how things play out in the next couple of days. Not going to be much to see here, just hot and humid over the next couple of days, and we'll see a mix of some. Mostly sunny days, as well as some increased high clouds for some portions of um, the time period here. But overall, things will be dry and just hot and humid as we go overnight tonight into Wednesday. We'll see decrease in clouds for Wednesday, so it'll be mostly sunny to partly cloudy for Wednesday. Hottest day, likely, of the week. Um, and then as we go into Wednesday evening, We'll see mostly clear to partly cloudy conditions. And as we go into Thursday, we'll see clouds on the increase as we have an upper level trough uh, digging into the area um, from the northwest. And that's going to bring some cloud, uh, cloudier weather as we go through the day on Thursday and then potentially bring in some unsettled weather as we move into the end of the week. So if we look at the 24-hour weather risk chart for today, we have mainly green conditions over the next 24 hours. We do have that yellow risk for a heat index values at or above 100 degrees. Right now, looking like we'll stay in the upper 90s and stay just below that uh, triple-digit mark. Uh, but otherwise, seeing our actual temperature high around 90 degrees as we get into the afternoon hours. See those winds out of the north-northwest at 7 to 12 knots, and then we'll see those winds shifting uh, out of the east, southeast, to southeast as we get towards the later part of the afternoon as we get a sea breeze kicking in. And we'll see those southeasterly breezes start to ease as we go overnight, uh, becoming more south to west, southwesterly. Uh, we've seen our temperature low around 73 degrees. We'll also see those clouds start to clear out of the area as we go into the start of our day on Wednesday with the winds out of, light out of the west, northwest, with temperature around 76 degrees to start today with uh, mostly sunny conditions. Right now, tides are running slightly above normal in the next couple of days. Again, tomorrow will be the hottest day of the week, mostly sunny to partly cloudy hot. We will likely see uh, those heat index values getting in the upper 90s once again, possibly above 100. So could see a better chance of seeing a heat advisory as we go into the day on Wednesday. But as we go into Wednesday evening, we'll see mostly clear to partly cloudy. Slight chance of some patchy mist before sunrise, seeing that low around 74 degrees. And as we go into Thursday, we'll see partly to most of cloudy conditions. Uh, another hot day, but not as hot as Wednesday with a high around 89 degrees. But overall, green conditions for our weather risk, the exception of possibly those heat index values up around 100 degrees. Well, that will wrap up the 815 Daily Operations Weather Briefing. We'll be back again at 10 a.m. Take a look at the extended forecast. Enjoy your morning.